Hey guys, it's me again, and today's video is an unboxing review. Uh, this review is the ch new Transformers 4 High Octane Bumblebee from the new movie Transformers 4, and I will uh, I got him off eBay for 19.99 fast uh, free shipping and fast fast shipping. So I bought him on Monday and got him on this day Thursday. So two day wait, and this is great. Uh, this is an unboxing. Okay, so let's crack this thing open. Okay, oh, wait a second. This will do. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to open this easily. So I don't want to rip the packaging, the boxing. The box. Okay. Ah, my review section. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Okay. Come on, get in there. Wait, let me show you how it is. Okay, here is the figure. It comes with a priority priority mail priority mail. Okay, get rid of that and get to the figure. Yes. Ooh, beautiful. Just this. Throw it. Oh yeah, it's right there. Yes, finally. Okay, forgetting about what just happened, you didn't see anything. Um, here's the figure out of the packaging. It has a great detailed picture of Bumblebee. I I'm actually going to be sad to rip this packaging because it's such a great packaging. Well, it says, well, it also has the Transformers 4 logo right there. It says Transformers. Tra oh my god, come on, focus. Don't space out. Come on, focus. Transformers, um, Age of Extinction. It has Transformers going down. And it has, it says, High Octane Bumblebee. It has, um, a picture of him in his alt mode. And on the back, it has an awesome picture of him in his, um, alt mode. It says, Classic Camaro Mode. And that's what Bumblebee looks like. It says, Changes in 18 Steps. And it says, High Octane Bumblebee. And, um, his little bio says, To avoid detection, Bumblebee takes on a different form, disguising himself as a supercharged muscle car. That's not so... Never mind. Um, it also says, Also available. Each sold separately, sub uh, subjects to availability. And I would actually like to get the score in here. Um, not very much Dinobot Slug. And Crosshairs... Yes, actually, Crosshairs I would love to get, but I would love to get Scorn to add to my Dinobot collection. I already did a review on the Grimlock, so, uh, Grimlock Voyager, so, yeah. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen it yet, and, okay, the rest of the packaging, an awesome Autobot logo down there, and an awesome picture of our Bumblebee, our Scout there with the Transformers. And nothing here. Okay, so let's crack this thing open and check out the figure. This is what the figure looks like outside of the packaging. Before I get to that, I would like to show you guys more of this. The rest of the body in the packaging it was behind Bumblebee, and it looks awesome. And that's all I have to say. Let's get to the figure. What? And this is what the figure looks like outside of the packaging. Awesome. And, um, he's great. Love this figure. I've been waiting for this, and that's why I got him. And, uh, yeah. Um, I, sadly, I have no other Bumblebee to compare to the... Oh, sorry, the lighting's terrible, right? Okay. Sadly, I have no other Bumblebee to, um, compare to this Bumblebee because the... I, uh, sadly, it was destroyed. Uh, I had the Transformers 2. Uh, yeah, Transformers 2 Bumblebee Decepticon Hunters. And one day we were remodeling the house, 
and all um I take him out there to play with them. I was younger back then, so I was playing with them, and all of a sudden, I trip and a bunch of wood uh nearly falls all over me, but I let go of Bumblebee at that time, and all the wood fell over Bumblebee, and of course, in frantic, I tried to get him out, but when I got him out, all of his pieces were sh uh shattered everywhere. He was broken, so that's why I picked up this figure. Okay, so let's get uh, more to this figure. Okay, as you can see, this, um, this, uh, all of this um, painting on it, all the painting design on it is still um, awesome for Bumblebee. He might have changed his form to a classic Camaro, but he still keeps his dominant black and yellow colors. Uh, and this is a great figure. I'm happy to got, uh, that I got this. Uh, as you can see, it's, this part's a little retarded because they put light piping here, right? But uh, they uh, for this figure, the light piping isn't really needed because they painted the eyes. So that's what I see as a little retarded. <laughs> because they painted the eyes and put some uh, white light piping here. Which I do not like. I wish they color the forehead yellow and everything. But, yeah. Can't complain. This figure has great head articulation. He, uh, that's as far as his head can see up and how far his head can see down. Okay. Um, he does his arms stretch out pretty far. And that's how far his hands stretch out. This hand will stretch out this far. And he has great art, um, hand articulation. Yeah, his wrist here moves. He has awesome. He has some crackling joints here. <sighs> They're pretty sturdy. Uh, on this hand, he has the same thing, but the only difference is his little missile here. Um, it's pretty cool, but it's not really one of those press missiles. Uh, I'll show you how that works right now, but. Let me pull it out first. As you can see, uh, it's not, it's a pretty cool missile, but it's not the best. Hell yeah, I just noticed that. Wow. Uh, in the packaging, it was a little bit damaged, like bent. See there? Can you see it? Yeah, it was like bent a little. And sadly, this part does not come off. Yeah, no, it doesn't come off. It would be nice if it could come off, but it doesn't. And... Right now, I'm going to show you how this works before I do anything else. Okay, you stick his hand out. Put this up a little higher. Stick his hand out. It's one of those, like, push. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those push. Uh, and, sh and push and fire missiles. Okay, so, and you push on it. And yeah, it's supposed to go far. Here, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. That went pretty far. It's a strong little missile. I like this Bumblebee figure. Uh, and let me stick this back here. Let's get a closer look here. Um, at his front side and the back side. Still is pretty cool. Still like it. Uh, okay. So, that's pretty much it for his robot mode. And now let's get to his alt mode or car mode. And I will transform him. Here is his transformation booklet, and I will be using this to transform him. I... yeah. I will be using this to transform him, and I will show you right now. But before that, I want to show you how tall he is. He is... wait. He is... Oh, sorry. Let me put it here. He is a... 5 inches tall. He gets to the 5 inches there. And, yeah, he is, he is this tall next to Grimlock, uh, not really, uh, size-wise, not as tall as Bumblebee should be next to Grimlock, and this is how tall he is next to Evasion Mode Optimus Prime, and this is a perfect scale of how tall Bumblebee should be next to Optimus Prime, uh, kind of, not really, but, I won't show you too much of this guy because I have not done a review on him, but um, keep watching my videos to watch a review on this guy. So I don't want you to look at him too much. Don't look at him. Uh, but this is how tall he should be. Bumblebee should be next to Optimus Prime. And 
check out this review if you want to see more of this guy. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, if you want to see more of Optimus Prime, check out the new video that will be coming out this... Yeah, somewhere around this weekend. Okay? Okay, let's see if I can transform him correctly. Okay. So, first of all, I think you're going to need to take this out. Come out. Put it aside there. And then... Stupid scissors. And then... Uh, the first thing uh, you will need to do is unclip his chest piece from this tab, okay, and I think you should connect them. Okay, um, we want, I, okay, screw this, let's just get to the transformation. And this is what this bumblebee looks like in his alt mode. Uh, this is a great alt mode, and I love it a lot. And the reason I bought this figure is because of this, man. Loving it. I bought him because of this. Because in every single Transformers movie, he is a Camaro. Like, the newer versions. And this is why I bought him. He is a newer kind, a different special version. And that's why I bought him. Okay. And uh, this looks cool under here. If you can see his wheels here, uh, it has like a metallic silver um, paint in there. It's I thought when I saw this figure, I thought it would be completely black. I'm just kidding, completely black. But it has a great silver metal painting there, and that's what I love. And it also has the Autobot logo here on both sides, actually. Here and for. Storage purposes, where if you don't have this figure, you're probably thinking, Oh my god, where does this go? Uh, where are you going to put it? Right here? No. Right in here somewhere. Come on. Just kidding. It would actually go down here. For storage purposes, it would. you would have to shove it in there again. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Just fit in there it won't fit and that's what it would look like and this figure rolls pretty good not pr pretty good it rolls amazingly for a figure like that and uh, yeah love this figure a lot thanks for watching sorry it has to end here but thanks for watching stay tuned for the high evasion optimus prime i will be doing a review on that and check out more of my videos. I will be posting um, more often now. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed me yet, subscribe me. If you haven't, um, leave a comment in the uh, below and give me a like button or a dislike button on this uh, video. Thanks for watching. Keep watching my videos. And all I have to say is peace. I don't even know. Oh. oh.